Hi Steve, Suffolk Sifter. Welcome to a new adventure. Today is going to be different from all the other days. Today I'm going to be trying the X35 11 inch coil. I'd like to thank Regton Limited for giving me the opportunity to evaluate the coil and I'm going to go over the same field as the last video where I went over with the 11 inch old coil and I'm going to go over in exactly the same steps I did then with the new X35 11 inch. I should be using Gary's sonar, the same as the previous video and we'll see what we find. I'd like to thank you, yes, you, my new subscribers to Suffolk Sifter, your names will be scrolling up from bottom to top. Don't forget people, if you've got a 90 second clip with a fantastic find or to promote your YouTube channel, send it to me and I'll put it on the end of one of my videos. Welcome, thanks for joining me. I'm at the same field that I used in the last video using the 4.1 and the old 11 inch coil. There's the construction, here's where I started, I'm going to go exactly the same footsteps and just for the laugh, so here we go. Uh, I'm using Gary's sonar set up for the X35 coil, for which I have to thank Regton Limited, much appreciated and thank you for giving me the opportunity to evaluate the X35 coil. You know, it's an 11 inch coil, um, which is going to crack on and see if we're going to find anything. I'm going to use 25 kilohertz and uh, see how we go. Thanks again and if I find anything you'll be the first to know. Well, I am finding um, stuff on the same trail which I used the old 11 inch. Nothing remarkable, it's odd bits and pieces but it's quite deep still, the sonar still going deep. Uh, I just pulled a, a teeny four hold button out of about three inches which is, is what I walked over with the uh, 11 inch I know that for a fact because I'm following the uh, tram lines of a tractor there is something in this bit here for some reason the headphones don't work so I'm relying on the speaker on the remote it's 76 I could see something in there it's more than likely going to be a button but as I've not been digging anything remarkable here we go it's going to be a button isn't it Yay, it's a button. It couldn't be a coin, could it? It's got to be a button. It's a four hole button. Well, just three places from the button. Oh, no, it's, it's 57, but I don't know what it is. Just a nothingness, I suppose. It's very, very thin. Doubt it's a buckle of anything. Oops, and I'll just thrown it away. It's got like a pin, very, very thin. This is. It looks like I should have had two. Haven't got a faintest. Any ideas? Comment below, please. All right, something mildly interesting. It's reading up at, at dead on 80, <coughs> and um, it's not a coin. I don't know. I thought it might be a cross, but I don't think so. It's uh, I can't make it out. Well, they're gonna have to give it a clean. Looks like there's writing on the back, small, small writing, maybe like a little pointy bit of front. But it looks to be a head in the middle of the circle. I haven't got a clue what that says at the bottom. John Stones, Johnston's at the top of the head little pointy bit here looks like it should have been one there as well haven't got a clue there's a word there can't make it out could be an R O V R something what do you think 
Well, there you have it. I think I've not been on those fields with good cause because there's not a heck of a lot of stuff on in fields. But anyway, we're given the X35 11 inch a good thrash. It's uh, found some stuff where I walked over with the standard 11 inch, but the, the some stuff was just rubbish and bits and bobs. Don't go and get yourself an X35 thinking your fine rates are going to go through the roof because you're only going to find stuff if it's there and you walk over it. So many thanks to Regton Limited for the X35 11 inch. Much appreciated and we'll use it from now on in. And thanks for joining me. I'll show you my finds, one or two pieces of interest, but sadly no coins. So thanks for joining me and we'll catch you in the next video. Well, there it is, that's the sum total of hour and a half, two hours in the cold. Top was just all the rubbish. Well, there is a lot more, but I can't be bothered to put it in the picture. There's a good old bit of lead here. Yes, I've got a plaster on my finger. Decided to slice the end off with a Stanley. Um, yep, top scrap. The buttons, as you can see, it's more mainly a button sort of field. There's uh, this thing with a pointy out bit. It's very, very fragile. I don't know what on earth it is. And above it is the sort of a crossy thing with a head in the middle and Johnston's on top. And I can't make out what's at the bottom. Just give it a clean when I get home. So thanks for joining me and we'll catch you next time. Two or three weeks ago, Suffolk Sifter had a fundraising for a microphone which is to be used on the live streaming and the voiceovers. I'm pleased to say that the microphone I chose was the Rode NT USB and I think you'll agree it's sounding great. I'd like to thank all those who contributed to the fundraising. I can't thank you enough and your names will be scrolling up on screen. Thanks so much. Thank you.